This project is something we started as a group um, for the JCP module. It is a sustainable way of growing your own food and would sustain the community or the children's home. The JCP module allowed us to assist the community, not just financially, but also with something that gives back to the children. So not only did the community benefit from the project, but we as students also benefited from the project, working together in a very diverse group and making a success of our project. So we identified that there were special needs school and obviously all schools need physical activities and we noticed that they didn't have one. So we figured, okay, why not build them as a jungle gym for them? They didn't have any physical structures to help the children improve their physical abilities such as depth perception. Some of them can't even grip properly. So to design the, the jungle gym in such a way that the children will be able to climb on, get off safely and also improve their physical abilities. We decided we can give them a bit extra. For a community like this, the project does contribute quite a lot because when they see that someone reaches out towards them and actually helps them out with something as small as a jungle gym, they appreciate it to the moon and back. It's something that no one else would ever do for them. Uh, we're Group 66 and we made a uh, puzzle feeder for a gibbon named Peter. The zookeepers can put uh, feed inside the, the puzzle feeder and then the Peter rotates to get his feed outside of the, the puzzle. We made a lot of research, uh, we read a lot of books to see uh, what should we do because like, uh, the gaboon needed to use his hands and think how to get his food. One thing I really loved about the project um, was that we all came from different sides of engineering. So we had like electrical and mechanical and, and all, all the different sides coming together and using all of our inspirational ideas, we decided to really take hands on this project and really make it something that we are really proud of. So we identified a need for Pretoria Secondary School. They needed uh, upgrades in computers, new computers, as well as software upgrades. With the upgraded computers, we improved the teaching and learning of the school. It gave us as a school the opportunity, a platform, to conduct our final matric exam and to have a credible final 2018 exam. Thank you to the JCP group. There was an obvious um, need when we saw that there was no playground for the children and the playground was broken and it was in a very bad condition. And then we, we built the jungle gym. So you invest in the kids and the kids are the future of this community. So I think that you, you invest in their childhood and that's all, always a great investment. It teaches us that we can't just live for, for, for ourselves. We have to live for the community and it's about being a part of the community that's overall that's contributing to South Africa. I think we learned a lot and we wouldn't trade anything for this experience.